I'll just tell you a little bit about how I came to, to, um, to write this particular play. So um, Nigel asked me if I was interested in doing something about stem cell research and um, I was really not very aware of stem cell research. It, I just peripherally heard stuff on the radio, read things in newspapers, and my um, kind of impression of stem cell research was that it was a little bit yucky. It was to do with abortion, it was to do with um, embryos, fetuses, and I didn't even know what a stem cell was, I just knew it was something to do with that. Okay, and that may well be where your students are at with it. Um, then we had the day that Nigel was talking about, the laboratory day where the experts come to talk about um, stem cell research. And there were two scientists there, no, three, four, mm -hmm. four scientists, and also people representing um, pressure groups that were against stem cell research, that is embryonic stem cell research, and, and people who were kind of more neutral. And on that day, I kind of found out a lot more and I got quite excited about the scientific possibilities um, to cure disease and so forth and um, also to do things like grow new organs and prolong life. Um, but also, <coughs> just to uh, come clean slightly, I, I am a Christian, okay, so I had that kind of, um, that sort of questioning thing about life and where does life begin and the whole thing about uh, God and so forth, but I am pro stem cell research, having done this um, project. So, um, after the really absolutely fascinating and, and wonderful day that we spent, um, I went away and I already had two sort of characters in my mind, absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with this uh, uh, project that I just wanted to write a play about. And uh, I thought, well, oh, I can get these characters in. And one of them was a young man who, um, always in my mind, was talking to the audience. And I knew that he had some sort of complicated relationship with his mum. And that she was a character that I wanted to write about as well. And she kind of began to take shape in my mind. And she was, um, she was kind of based on somebody that lives down our street who's a... Uh, kind of aging DJ, sort of new age raver, <laughs> single mother, um, who's you know absolutely delightful, but whose children have had a sort of kind of reverse um, experience of uh, you know kind of being more of the parent and uh, their mother being more of the child. And um, I knew that they would have a great relationship, but that he was very exasperated by his mum. Okay, so I had those characters in my mind, but I didn't have anywhere to um, put them until this play came along. And, but then I thought, well, I'm going to have to think of some characters that somehow uh, fit into the whole stem cell uh, debate. So um, I want, I'd been wanting to, for quite a while, have a character in the play who was Christian but wasn't like a stereotypical Christian or wasn't like a right-wing fundamentalist. Bible bashing American Christian that were, you know, who have come to represent Christianity now through, you know, because of the circumstances in the world and because of the media and so forth. Uh, I wanted to, just, you know, a character who was just like somebody that I knew that goes to church, who, who's got um, a certain uh, different sort of relationship with the world than um, the sort of the majority atheist scientists that I've been talking to about stem cell research, although there are some scientists who are Christians or uh, religious in other ways as well. Um, so I created um, this character who uh, turned out to be married to the young man who was my main character. And um, then I needed somebody that I, that I wanted to create a character that represented science. And um, I didn't want them to be a scientist, but I wanted them to be like lively and full of life and energy and um, sort of representing the future and um, I did sort of wonder whether that should be an adult but I, I was at the time uh, grappling with my very precocious 13 year old teenager and 
but also a very lively and passionate person. And, and because of that, and because I was preoccupied with that, they came into the play as well. Um, so then I had my four characters, and they were a family, a kind of unconventional family. And, and that was it, you know, basically that's what I do. I create characters and then set them off, and uh, they all start um, having some kind of story, you know, some sort of uh, dialogue with each other. And uh, I shape it into a play which, um, for white touring, is always meant to um, springboard a debate for the audience. Okay, so, so that's, that was the basic process of writing the play. Um, um, questions yeah. Judith, that you found the most challenging about stem cell. Say I that mean, again. What were the questions that you found the most challenging and the most intriguing, or the things that you as a writer wanted to explore or to well, raise? Or people to seem very, very interested, and I don't think it's just um, religious people either, in this notion of what is life and where does life start, and um, if um, embryonic stem cells are life, mm -hmm. um, what does it mean that we can do experiments mm -hmm. on them? I mean, that's the, that seems to be the sort of crux of the matter for most people that, that, that look at this. And I, I think there's a real sort of tension between people who are very scientific, who look at the world very scientifically, who, who just think and um, it's just a collection of you know, cells, what's the problem? There's a real tension between that and people who, who look at it more philosophically or religiously or, or whatever. And, um, and that's where this, the kind of crunchiness of this subject exists. And um, I think we found that when we've, we've been going around the schools that it's a real, so it's, very, it's just fundamental, isn't it? It's fundamental, what is life? When does life begin? And um, although, you know, scientifically you can say in a kind of very clinical way a, a small collection of, of cells is not alive that's not what everybody feels like about it and you know that's the thing that you're kind of going to be grappling with 